God's called us to be culture makers, not culture mimickers. And the sad state of Christianity in America is we become predominantly culture mimickers. And that's why your generation is going, I want a harder faith. Something that actually expects something from me. I want a bigger God that can actually free people. Because much of Christianity today is just mimicking culture. And many times, we are too. The first time Jesus went back to Nazareth after he grew up and started preaching, he went to the synagogue and they asked him to read something. Now think about this, he could have picked anything, anything from the Old Testament. And he picked out Isaiah 61.1 and this is what it says. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and the recovering of sight to the blind. That's what we're to be about. And to do that, you have to give yourself away in unbelievable ways. culture makers, not culture mimickers. We're called to be peculiar, really different. And to get on mission demands that we're really different. Don't try to be a mimicker. Realize how rich our culture is, that we're expected to be different. Will you be a culture maker? Will you be courageous enough to be that? Because here's the reality, when you look around this room, I can't see your eyes in the dark, but I've seen most of your eyes in a number of places, and here's the deal. You've been blessed to come from a culture where your eyes shine really bright. And most people would die to have that light. But they're captive to bad choices, they're captive to fears and insecurities, and they're dying to escape them. If you and I would care enough to show them how. Do you get what's coming? <laughs>